Welcome back to Adri's Homestead Life. Today we are working in the garden. It is 20th of August and I am just building my little hoop house for the greyhound, greyhound cabbages. So I reckon we can put in here eight. I'm gonna put eight cabbages in here. They at the moment, at this stage, I've planted this actually ages ago, months and months ago. They were in a, just in a potting tray for for months and months in a brassica cage for the for like a bigish module trays, and these now will go to the ground, and that will really because they were. So so rude man, they really really uh, need to go out. Greyhound autumn cabbage. So you can already see some uh, white aphids on them, but that's okay. So I'm just building building this hoop. You're gonna put mesh over it, you know, the clips and the bricks all around it like I usually do and that will give us a lovely harvest through the autumn and winter months. I'm going to put eight greyhound autumn cabbage. So we had, I was just gonna say we had some potatoes here, guess what? We are digging up some more potatoes. And I put a few inches of homemade compost. And then we're ready to go to do an X crop. So it's been a few weeks now since we dug up the potatoes. And Now we are ready to go and put some more potatoes to put the cabbages in. Oh, that's how I've got my volunteers because I feel like we are harvesting potatoes today. Oh gosh. Right. So, one, two, they quite a big cabbage. They can grow like really good size. So, I think we're gonna have a meal soon, <laughs> digging up some extra potatoes. They're quite a, a decent size of cabbages, so I'm leaving well, I try to leave a good half a meter, 40 centimeter between. But it looks like we might only able to put three in, in the row. So we might put six in here, you know, instead of eight. Otherwise, I think we're in um, just a squash. And then when they grow big, you know, let's give them space to grow. The good water to each hole. I'm going to water it after this planted as well. Let's plant the cabbage.
gonna plant it quite deep. We need to anchor it well, because that will grow big. Uh, I'm keeping snap juggle. Such a lovely it's homemade compost. One of the best things I've ever learned, honestly, as a gardener. You are what you eat, eight, you know what my slogan is. So if my plant's got a good compost, that's not a bad start. Right, two more. And we've done. We're going to cover this with the mesh. Give it a good water first. And job's done. We're going to have lovely cabbage soon, over the fall and winter time. All done. All right. Okay. Put this over this rebar, pull it tight, and we're going to secure it with some garden clips and some bricks. Right, this is now done. They look a bit sad, but I'm going to water them the next couple of days and they'll be absolutely fine. Let's harvest some broccoli. Some of these now gone over. I wasn't quick enough picking them, so probably now toffee will enjoy it. Right. You want some broccoli? Yeah? Some broccoli, lovey. Is that yummy? Nice. Let's pick a cabbage. This one is good. Give this to the goats and chickens. They love it. These outer leaves. Sharing is caring. Always sharing my food with my animals. And this is for. This is for us. No? Do you like courgette? No? It's like, I'm not sure about this. 
can have it. No? Okay. Okay, sweet boysy. I'm gonna take it to the chickens then. I'm going to harvest our Cara main crop potatoes next. I've got two rows of Cara. I need to weed a bit in here before we can get to it. But as you can see, the potato greens are now dry, died back, nearly drying. So that means it's ready for harvest. We've got all sorts growing in here, nettle, tansy, borage. Unfortunately, they have to come out now. The bees have really, really enjoyed it. It's time for us to enjoy the potatoes now. Right. Let's dig in. Oh, got lots of potatoes. So can you see the potato foliage now? It's really dying back. That sign that is ready. I have four, I've got six, six rows in here of different, three different varieties. And we're going to start with the two, Cara, two rows of Cara first. 35 potato seeds. Let's see how much it's going to give us. Here's my basket. Harvest here. Very good harvest. My favorite job to harvest potatoes as a gardener. Sizes here, look. Cara. Good old Cara. So the first gave us this much. I think that is that's brilliant. Let's do the rest.
I've got so many bees buzzing around me. The borage, it's loaded with my honeybees. Okay, we are doing the last one now in a row and so far we've got this full basket. So, I think that is a success. Very good potato harvest. To put five, six potatoes in this row and having a full basket full of potatoes, we can definitely say we had success and this is so heavy. Oh look, that's one row. I just started on the second row. Wow, that's the biggest one so far. That would make a nice jacket potato. This is huge! Oh wow! I am really happy. I just, you just never know what you get. So excited! Wow! My dogs. Lucy, leave it. You're playing with toffee through the fence. Wow. I think this is the best so far. You must have had about ten huge one already. Right well. Okay, I think that's it. Wow! From the second row, the first one gave us nearly a whole, whole basket full. Alright, we've got three more to do. And let's reveal the potato harvest. I think we need to weigh this harvest today, because I think it's that much. Let me see. This Cara didn't disappoint. As a main crop, this will now last us until probably the next harvest in early summer next year. Oh, 
I've not bought potatoes for years and years. You know, it just lasts for us. I go through every month, every couple of months, and, uh, you know, take the bad ones out or sort out if they start cheating or something. Wow, this is amazing. They are, they are all big, massive. Wow, I'm just getting more and more. A little bit scabby, but not all of them. And surprisingly, I haven't got much rodent or slug damage because the longer I leave it now, usually the rodents, you know, find it and they started feeding on them, munch on them and the slugs just, you know the slugs just love anything wow this is unbelievable harvest and the last one let's see how the last one did. oh wow I went to get a third basket, but I definitely needed it because I think we're gonna fill it up. These are gonna be our jacket potatoes for sure. of this one. Unbelievable. Right. I think we've done. I still got another four row to dig up. This was only this was only two rows of the main crop and it gave us so much potatoes wow so we just dug up the two two rows of cara main crop potatoes two rows wasn't even a massive row you know i think it was i put 35 seed potatoes in the six rows so, five, six potatoes per row. So, 12 potato seed gave us three basketful of potatoes to eat. I think that's amazing. Well done, Kara. I will grow you again. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me in my garden today. We have done a lot. We we have planted out the greyhound cabbages, harvested some cabbage. Uh, what else we've harvested? I was gonna do the courgette because I've got quite a biggish harvest, but I think we're gonna do that another day. We have dug up the cara potatoes and I'm shattered. It's a beautiful day, but let's think about now what we're gonna do with all this harvest. Well, thank you so much for being here and see you very soon. Bye, friends. Let's weigh these, all these potatoes. 
plus six point seven. That's nineteen point three plus another six point seven. That's giving us in total of twenty six kilograms of potatoes. 26 kilograms of potatoes what is 57 pounds of potatoes only two rows wow